So go ahead. Well, I would rather not discuss your medical information. On this is for me. Fine. I have the right to record it. So go on ahead. Okay. Well, can you tell me your full name? Susan Lee Stone. Okay. Do you know where you're at? Yes, I'm at Casey's in New Athens. Okay, and do you know what year it is? <laughs> 2023. Okay. And can you tell me what occurred? I went down the road. I couldn't get a hold of my friend. I stopped on the side of the road to talk to her. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, this guy comes in on a truck, pulls in front of me, then starts backing into me. Okay. So I took off. He took off. I went all the way down. I turned around here and went this way. Okay. He turned around and went this way. I turned back around and went that way. He turned back around and went that way. I went out to Route 156. You know where that's at? Yep. Mm -hmm. I turned over that way. He turned over that way. I turned back this way. He turned back this way. He tried to run into me like this. I went around like this, and this is why I came here. I called 911. That's what they're supposed to do, right? Yep. I have no idea what the guy wanted. But when they're after me like that, I think of my life first. Okay. Because I don't want to die. Yeah. All right. Um, do, you, do you need any medical help? You need I don't need any medical help, no. Well, now, I need to go home and get my dinner. Just one quick question. Any thoughts of harming yourself or anybody else? I'm the dance of life. I don't harm people or life in any way, shape, or form. Okay. So how long ago did this occur? About 15 minutes ago. So, do you guys you guys gonna come to a, come to a solution? You gonna talk with the officers? My solution is I'm going home. Whatever they want to do with it, that, that's fine. Okay. Do you want to get your? We can check your vital signs while we're here. I don't want my vital signs checked. I'm fine. Okay. Would you be willing to sign this refusal with me? That I am. With, yes. Go bring okay. it over. Okay. I will not talk to you. Okay. Tell you again. Where is it? But we can try our part. I will not call you for help anymore. Trust me. I will never call you for help again. Susan, so what kind of medical history do you have? What do you mean? What kind of medical history do I have? Do you any kind of medical history? A heart attack, stroke? No, I don't have any of that. Do you take medications on a daily basis? Do you have any allergies? No. Okay. Just all questions I have to ask you. May I add, you're wasting my time. You should be after the people that did this to me, not me. You stop me because of this, because of who I am. I will not call you anymore. Are we ready? I'm loading this up. I have to get information. Well, I'd like to know why this guy did this to me. How long is this going to take? Just a couple more minutes. Because I got to call my friend back. She's going to wonder what happened to me. What's your birthday, Susan? Right, it's coming up. Okay. Happy early birthday. No comment. What's your address? Susan, if you don't want to, if you don't wish any medical care, if you don't want to go to the hospital with us at this time, this is just a refusal that stays. The guy didn't do anything to me, so no, I don't need any help. Okay. Should you need, should you change your mind and call back? We'll gladly help you if you just sign that. That just accepting the risks of signing the refusal. All right. Have a nice day. You too.
Hello, I am the Dance of Life Dancer, and I have just had a frightening experience just, just now. And the most scary thing about it is when I called 911 on this phone, well, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, I'm in my car right now because I want to tell you part of this in my car. I was going down the street. Um... I was going down the street to get me some hamburgers and some stuff tonight. And um, I, got, I got to around where New Athens is. And I stopped to take a phone call. Called the, uh, I, my phone rang. I stopped to take a phone call. And um, I was trying to get a hold of somebody too. And um, when I stopped, this white truck with green lettering on the side of it, both sides of it, Pulls up in front of me and uh, starts backing up, which is when I took off. I took off. Um, so, um, all right. I took off. So, um, I go up further, the guy tur turns and, and, and follows me further, and, uh, you never know in this kind of world, this kind of society, what the hell they're after, or what the hell they want. I mean, it was a, a, pick, a white pickup truck, and it had four doors, and, uh, two guys in it. And there was white, green lettering on the side of the truck. I did not see the license number. Did not see the um, lettering. I mean, I know I've seen this truck before. I just don't know where. So, all right. So, when I get done with that, I go down further to Route 156. Turn, and this guy follows me there. So, I turn around again. Up higher on Route 156. And, um... The guy follows me again. I mean, I know that it ain't nothing good. Because I know it's not the police. Because if it was the police, I would have stopped. It wasn't the police. It was two guys. And one of them had, had something sticking out the window. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a gun. I don't know if it was a club. I'm not sticking around to find out, though. So, uh, I turned around again. This guy tried to run into me. So I returned a favor, and I tried to run into him. So, then I took off. I called 911 from this phone right here. And uh, I'm telling you something. It was a real scary experience. But you know what's even scarier? The police's response to this. The police's response to this was even scarier. So here's... Let me tell you some more here. I'm trying to clean my stuff up here while I'm telling you this. All right. So I turned around after that. I called 911 on the phone. And um, I didn't think to record it, but I called 911. And um, I'm a little shaken right now. Because... I was running for my life. I thought the guy was going to shoot me or something. I mean, he had something sticking out the window. A white pickup truck with green lettering on the side. So, anyway, we keep going. And I'm on the phone with 911. They told me to get to the Casey's in New Athens. So that's what I do. And you don't want to know what I had to do to get there. I'm going to leave that portion. No, I won't leave. I had to go through the, um, around everybody else. I had to go around everybody. I had to go around all the, all the stuff, all the lights, all of everything. So, hey, I get to the Casey's and the, uh, New Athens police is there. 
and they questioned me about it, and uh, they already, get this, they already knew who the guy was. They knew him. Somebody was in cahoots with each other on this. Somebody tried to get me killed. Um, so, the story goes on. I wish I would have recorded this, but I sure in the hell didn't. But, uh, as the story goes on, um, they keep questioning me and questioning me. I told them the story. They act like it was not real. They act like I committed a crime. Which I asked them, did I commit a crime? Somebody called the ambulance and tried to get me, tried to fucking get me put away or something. And it was, the Marissa police showed up then. We had two of them there. Marissa police and the other one. And it, is, it isn't even 8 o'clock yet. This is too goddamn much to deal with. But this is what I deal with on a daily basis. So, um, anyway, they come. The ambulance comes. Get this. They're trying to take me away in a freaking hospital. And um, I'm continuing to say, did I commit any crime? What did I do wrong? I didn't do nothing wrong. Then I'm out of here. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. Goodbye then. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, here's the thing about it. The New Athens policeman said that he knew who and what it was. So you want to know something? They were in cahoots with whoever was driving that white pickup truck. The white pickup truck with green lettering, like a lawn care place or something. I mean, they stopped and turned around seven times, chased me down the street 90 miles an hour, run, almost tried to run over me three different times. So I returned a favor, tried to do, you know, get out of his way. Um, and that's the second time I've told this story. The last part of this story, when the ambulance driver, the police was there, I recorded that little bit, even though they said they didn't want me to. Like, I'm recording it, and it's going to be on here. So, I'm telling you something. This is the most scary experience there was. And you want to know something? All I was doing was stopping on the side of the road to make a phone call. That is what you're supposed to do when you make a phone call, right? You're supposed to stop by the side of the road. But you know what? I'm not going to do that from now on. From now on, because of what happened, I'm going to use the phone while I'm driving. If anybody's got a problem with it, check this video out. So, anyway, like I said, we turned around. I turned around at least six different times. He tried to back up into me twice with his big green truck. Uh... There was two guys in there. One of them had something he stuck out the window. I have no idea if it was a club or a gun or what it was. But uh, I wasn't sticking around to find out. Um, so, um, I was there 25 minutes with the police. Trying to tell them what the hell was going on. You, you want to know something, honey? And I'll tell you this. There was the New Athens police. And there was the... Uh, Marissa, please, and you want to know something? They knew all about it before I even told them. So they and whoever this is was in cahoots together to try to, I don't know what the hell they were trying to do, but I wasn't going to stick around and let them do it. Because um, I guarantee you, if they tried to hurt me, they would be the one falling first. I guarantee you, and I promise that in the name of Mr. Grimm, they wouldn't have gotten hurt me. They would have... Anyway, so we we turned around at least six different times. Before I, I called a phone, on the phone, I called 911. That's what you're supposed to do when something like this happens, right? 911. So, I wish I'd have got a recording of all this, but honey, I didn't think of it. That's going to change, though. I'm going to have a goddamn camera in this car. Now I'm going to go out and get me one tomorrow. I'm getting me a camera to put in this fucking car. Um, so anyway, 
we're sitting up there at the Casey's up there. And, um, they're sitting there acting like I'm fucking crazy or something. And I'm sitting there telling them what happened. And you want to know something, honey? They already knew what happened. They knew who it was. They knew everything. So whatever it was, they planned it. They had me planned. They planned to do this to me. So, um, anyway, I'm sitting there telling, I told the police five different times, or maybe six different times, what happened. Didn't act like they fucking cared one damn bit. So, um, then they called me, it's, uh, somebody, some freaking idiot called the ambulance. Like, I wasn't in no accident. Somebody was chasing me. It's happened many, many times. I mean, many times. And I know they know that because they're the ones that help do it. So, um, they sit there and question me all kinds of crazy shit. What's my name? What's this? The am ambulance guy shows up. And, um, like, who the fuck is hurt here? Who the fuck is hurt here? I mean, I'm hurt, but in a different way. I mean, are they fucking kidding me? I mean, Mr. Grimm would have something to say about this bullshit. But this was a setup. Somebody fucking set me up to kill me or hurt me or do something. But it isn't going to fall because I'm stronger than that. Anyway, so I talked to the ambulance driver. I don't know how damn long. Um, asked me all kinds of stupid shit questions. And all you got to sign is to, re to deny. I mean, I didn't ask for an ambulance. What the fuck was the ambulance for? I mean, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. But here's what's going to make sense. And this is what I promise you. From now on, if anything happens while I'm driving this car out there or anything, I am not going to call the police anymore. I am not going to call the police. I am going to take matters in my own hands. I'm going to deal with it the best way I know how. And believe me, I have stuff in this car to handle the situation like that. So don't even try it. I will handle it from now on by myself without calling these police of any kind. So you can look forward to that next time. Um, anyway, after all of that shit, um, I got the ambulance driver on there, recorded, I'm going to play it for you. Um, so anyway, I came home. After that, I come and talk. I came and I, I, I called up my, um, I called up my appointment I had to talk to. My person I was going to talk to. Talk to her a little bit. Then I came home. And here I am right now. I'm at home right here. And I'm telling you, you got to be fucking careful out there. Because there's a lot of fucking nut nuts crazies out there that want to hurt you. And I don't know what the hell this plan was. I have no idea what it was about, why, and how the police were involved. But I do know one thing. The police and whoever was driving that, that green and white truck was in cahoots together with some kind of a plan. But uh, it didn't work. It didn't work. The only thing it did was scare the shit out of me. But you want to know something? It really didn't scare the shit out of me that much because I'm here. I dealt with it. And I promise you, I will not be calling the police no more. Because the next thing that happens, I'm going to be dealing with. Which is going to be a hell of a lot worse than any police you could ever deal with. Trust me. Because I'm one crazy bitch. I'm one fucking crazy ass son of a bitch. You got that? So, watch the video. Thank you. For making my life a living nightmare. Have a bad day. All right, well, here's my scoop of the day. I am the... Okay. I am the Dance of Life dancer. 
And I have just went through one of the most scary experiences I can remember. It is two, It is Sunday, and it's Sunday the 11th. And it's about 8.30 right now. And um, I'm back home right now. I just experienced a nightmare. Um, I was on the road going up towards um, Freeburg get some hamburgers and stuff and um, I stopped on the side of the road to make a phone call with this phone right here and um, that's what you're supposed to do when you when you do a phone you're not supposed to drive and you know what I mean but uh, anyway I stopped on the side of the road which begun a nightmare which I will never be able to explain to the, ever in my entire life but um, when I stopped I was on the phone trying to get a hold of somebody. Uh, personal phone call. And uh, this truck, this white um, truck, pickup truck, I think it had two doors or four doors on it. And it had green lettering on the side of it. Both sides, like a, I don't know, I didn't see what it says, probably like a lawn care place or something like that. It pulls up in front of me. I don't have video of this. But, um, it pulls up in front of me. And, um, starts backing up. Now I'm thinking, what the hell? So I took off. Quickly. So, I went on further down the line. He takes off. Comes, comes, follows me. So I turned around in the middle of the road turned around the other way and started going back toward the other direction and uh, believe it or not he turns around comes back for the other direction so uh, at that point I had my phone out calling 911 um, which was a big mistake actually so um, I turned around again in the middle of the road he came down, turned around, same truck, white truck, green lettering on the side. I had my phone out. I was down on 911. So, at that point, I had 911 on the line. Um, so, we're going through New Athens. Went through the stop lines. And uh, this guy still following me. Turned off on Route 156. And, um, I went off on the side. I was on the, on the phone here with the, with 911, who directed me to go back to the Casey's in New Athens. So I turned my car back around. This guy came, tried to run into me. So I repaid the favor and took it towards him. After all, an eye for an eye, right? I took off. He takes and spins around and goes back down that way. Chasing after me. I'm on the line on this phone with 911. Had my, my baseball bat out with me at the same time. Because I wasn't letting him kill me. So, um. Because I've been down these chases. I've had hundred, hundreds of these chases before. So, went back towards New Athens. Still got the, on the phone, still with the, uh, um, police and the 911 operator. Two people were actually on it. I don't know who the second person was. We get to the Casey's. I stopped there. We got one police from New Athens, one police from Marissa. They both questioned me about it. I'm sorry I don't have the video. I didn't think to take the video. That's going to change. I'm going to do video from now on. Um, so when I got there, they're questioning me. And uh, I can tell by the way they're talking. They already know who this guy is. They already know who chased me. And who ran after me. And who backed up into me. And all this stuff. They already knew who it was. I know this. Then they called. I don't know why the hell they did this. Said that I was driving erratically. I do remember somebody saying that. Um, yeah, I guess I would be driving erratically. 
someone is chasing you and your life is in danger, um, yeah, I guess you would be driving erratically. I mean, some fool idiot was after you, and I, I left something out. At one point, the truck driver, who there was two occupants in, both occupants, one of them had something out the window. I don't know if it was a gun, a hairbrush, I have no idea what it was. I wasn't going to stick around to find out. So anyway, then they they call the ambulance out there. I'm like, what the fuck's the ambulance for? Nobody's been hurt here. I mean, I'm gonna sum this up in one thing. I think it was a, I, can, I think it was some kind of conspiracy or something against me. Somebody set me up, in other words. I don't know who the hell did it or why or anything else. But I do know they knew who that was. I do know they know who that one, that guy was. Because the way they acted. I've been dealing with police for 25 years. I know what they know when they know it. I mean, you some of it you're going to hear. The last part, the one on video. Um, don't ask me what the hell it was about. What they wanted. What they wanted to accomplish. I don't know. I only know this guy in the truck came after me. About turned around about six times. So, you're going to get to see some video. It's going to be some video. Just watch for it. But I will tell you something. Out of all the experiences, that has to be one of the most scary experiences there is. I mean, was I scared for my life? Yes. Did I think they were going to do anything? No. Because... I definitely would have handled it first because I have ways of doing stuff. So the next thing I'm going to say, hold on, is this. From now on, I am not going to call the 911. I will handle it myself. I guarantee you that's going to be a hell of a lot scarier than ever with me calling 911. Because I don't trust them. I don't trust none of them. Because they did absolutely nothing. I called 911. They didn't go get the guy. They didn't do anything. They knew, they knew who it was. And I think they knew. I think they planned it together. I mean. You can you can cry some conspiracy theory all you want. But I know what I've seen out there. And what the hell the ambulance was about, I don't fucking know. I don't know what the hell that was about. So, wound up, I said, did I commit a crime? No, I didn't commit no crime. Well, I'll be seeing you, hon. Have a nice day. So I came back home, called my friend, called my person, talked to them about it. Came back home. Here I am, making this video. But I'm going to be a lot more cautious from now on. I'm going to have cameras going from now on. And I'm not calling 911. And I, I, I guarantee you, honey, when something like this ever happens to you, ever at any time, go to some place with people. Go to some place immediately with somebody there. Do not try to run down the road. Do not try to... Don't call... You know what I have to say? Don't call 911. Because they might be against you. I mean, I don't know, you can do what you want, but it's your life, but my life is, I felt my life is in danger. I did what I thought I had to do. And trust me, it would have been a lot more if that truck driver would have attacked me. Have a nice day. Thank you.